What up, 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 everybody? Good evening. Happy Friday to everybody. I hope y'all are doing well on this good old Friday, okay? I hope you all are doing well. Thank you all for being here. Listen, we're just going to get a couple of house rules out of the way. We coming, we coming, we coming, okay? We coming. Good evening to everybody. Please make sure you hit that like button. Honestly, honestly, just go ahead and hit that like button. Uh, hold on one moment. All right. Listen, welcome, welcome, welcome. We are here. We are here for an exclusive interview. Listen, um, this is Jay's first time speaking out. All right. So we are just here to have a conversation because we are actually really friends. And so we're just going to keep it real. We're going to keep it real. What's up, everybody? What's going on? What's going on? Happy Friday. I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you guys are doing well. And trying to stay cool. As y'all can see, I am hot, okay? I am hot. However, listen, we're about to have a real conversation. If you don't know who Jay is, Jay is the makeup artist for uh, Melody Cherie, okay? And so... We're just going to have a conversation. I see y'all coming up in here, but it is 346 people already in here. And so me trying to uh, uh, catch up with y'all comments is crazy. But welcome, 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 welcome. Um, but we're about to get into this interview. Y'all, I really do adore Jay. And we're just going to have a conversation and talk about some things and Again, this is his first time speaking out. Y'all are just having a conversation in general. Listen, I believe we cocktailed up and we just enjoying ourselves tonight, just being real smooth uh, uh, with it. You know what I'm saying? I think we both country boys, so we just gonna do it like that. How about that? <laughs> okay, so give me one quick moment, y'all, and uh, we gonna get started here shortly. All right, uh, hold on. All right, give me just a moment. We got to do some adjusting, okay? We got to do some quick adjusting, but we good. Uh, hold on one moment. All right.
All right. So, <laughs> country men are the best. You better let them know what time it is. Anytime y'all would like to show love to the channel, you are more than welcome to do so, especially by hitting that like button and going to pushing this thing up in the algorithm because I'm quite sure, you know, people are going to pick this thing up. With that being said, with that being said, please, content creators, if you get anything from this, just be respectful and please reach out to me um, about using my content. That It's just period, okay? That's just on period, right? Respectfully, I will do it to you. I just ask that you do the same for me, all right? Also, in the comments, listen, listen. I don't know what type of week y'all done had, but we're not going to be no disrespectful. We're not going to be disrespectful, right? Because we're here to just have a conversation and just have a really good time, okay? So we are not, uh, 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 we, 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 we're not going to be disrespectful, all right? We're not going to be disrespectful. So, Y'all already in here as, uh, asking the questions. Lord have mercy. All right. Well, without further ado, I don't need to do no more talking. I'm going to go ahead and introduce my friend, uh, Jay. And, and, and we just, we going to get into it. What's going on, Jay? What's up? What's up? What's up? <laughs> First of all, I don't know how you tricked me up into doing this. <laughs> Listen, I think I think at this point, I think at this point, you know, it's it, it has been so much said that sometimes you just gotta come in and clear the air, you know. <laughs> well, I'll tell you this before we get started, yes. I am still under contract with Love and Marriage Huntsville. Respect. So <laughs> I hope this interview is just very light and fun. Um, you know. I'll tell you whatever I, it is that I can tell you. And what I cannot talk about, I will not uh, speak about uh, because of the respect of the job. Um, you know, but we can always circle back when it's over. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I already think the people would know that considering that you 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 work for Melody. I think the, the people ride for Melody. So I think that they would respect that and know that. Right. So basically what we're going to chat about. <laughs> Is some things that has happened that's already out there that, you know, people might hit or miss, you know, maybe not have a conversation around it, but they see it, okay? But blogs have picked up quite a few things in the past year, right? Would you say? <laughs> Would you say? Let's talk about it. <laughs> We're going to get into it. We're going to get into it. Now, before we get into any of this, I do want to have fun. So I got this little ghetto game I created, okay? Because I am a little ghetto. Okay. You know, and I don't, <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> but this is I a know. ghetto game <laughs> just for us to kind of break the ice with the people, you know what I'm saying? And still have a good okay. time, okay? Now, this okay. game is, 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 is it's a cute little game, okay? So we're going to start off with food first, okay? This I, I, I'm going to share this so. You know, why wouldn't we start off with food, right? So I'm about to put up <laughs> two pictures, and I just need you. One of these have to go, okay? Because you're a country boy, right? Okay. I am. Okay. I was about to say, please do not leave me out there by myself. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you are a country boy, so, you know, we, we like to eat good food, okay? We, we love good food. <laughs> so... We get ready to just kind of play this little icebreaker game, okay? All right. Okay. As you can see on the screen, we have some favorite foods, right? And so I just want to know. Uh, actually, I'm gonna make this a little bit harder for you, right? Um, I'm gonna do the opposite. Okay. Instead of one going out of everything here, what is your first go to? My go-to to have to eat? Yeah, on this picture. Uh, yeah. Definitely the chicken wings. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, chicken wings. We definitely. got a little hot sauce on them. I love my wings wet. <laughs> you love them wet. You love them wet. wet, wet lemon pepper wet. Lemon pepper wet. You know, I'm in Atlanta, so everything is, you know, they say all Atlanta people know is lemon pepper wings and lamb chops. <laughs> <laughs> that, that so give no me, 
<laughs> Give me some wet lemon pepper mild wings and I'm good. Okay, okay. Well, come on, wings. And come a lemon wings. drop. Come on, lemon <laughs> drop. Come on, lemon drop. Um, <laughs> listen, okay, so this next one. I think we're familiar with all of these places, right? Ooh. You out in the battle. Yeah. All right. You just done male's makeup. Okay. Oh. You got to hurry up and get to another place really quick. Mm -hmm. You need some meat. <laughs> Which one of these places are you are you going with? Like where where where, where are you stopping at? Well, to know us <laughs> is to love us. And if you guys know anything about me and Melody, uh, we will stop at a Starbucks. So I think Starbucks is gonna <laughs> Starbucks is gonna be my pick because we eat that around the clock. Starbucks, though. <laughs> <laughs> yes, there that is. Take, me and Melody, that little we, cake, them little cake bites do not count. No, we love the egg bites, and I normally get the uh, double bacon uh, cheddar. Oh, you know what they do have? Are the bacon cheddar? Too. Okay. Yeah, it's good. We always eat breakfast with, with Melody, no matter what time it is. So Starbucks. <laughs> Come on, breakfast. You know, we love some breakfast, honey. We and remember, it's Huntsville. Breakfast. So, I mean, it's Huntsville. So what are the choices? You know what I mean? Oh, the shame. And, you know, Melody live on the hill. So, you know, when you go out there, you won't find a, a KFC or anything like that, you know. It's not a gentrified oh. area. It's it's a prime area. <laughs> well, shout out to the uh to the private cook to the private <laughs> chef. That's the right, that's there is no, I'm just saying there's no KFC out there by the mansions. I'm sorry, Starbucks. <laughs> <laughs> okay, a little bougie, but I get it. I get it. You know, <laughs> everybody ain't living there. Everybody's not living there. But okay. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's what you choose to live. That's where the work is. So we're gonna be in Starbucks. Period, 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 period. Okay, so now I need to know out of these people that I'm getting ready to put on the screen. Oh Lord. You have a choice of going to their concert child. Okay. Um, okay. and so by the way, y'all ain't no shade because I know how some of y'all can be. <laughs> <laughs> I know some y'all can be okay. fancy because you know we us black people are very passionate about our music. Okay, so yeah, uh, I know how y'all could be, but we're gonna keep it cute. <laughs> okay, so honey, you 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 get invited to actually go backstage with these people. Listen, you mm -hmm. get to pitch them a little bit. Listen, you may get be able to do their makeup, and then also to think about them musically if you like them, right? Okay. Okay. Who concert out of the three of these are you going to? Jasmine Sullivan, hands down. <laughs> period. 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 I don't have to think about it. <laughs> okay. Okay. Jasmine okay. Sullivan. I mean, because you know we can hear Kiki anywhere. To be quite honest, right? And I don't want to hear that. Uh, 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 uh. I don't want to hear that. <laughs> How many times are we gonna hear that? Uh, 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 uh. I don't want to hear that. I don't want. I appreciate y'all little chat for being. Um, the people in the chat is answering it too, and I'm here for it. I love it. I love good. it. Good. I love it. I can't see the chat. So people in here, in case if you did not know, say that again. There's 578 people watching us so far. Oh wow! I am scared. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But I gotta say this. I yes. gotta say this, friend. Let me say this because okay. I cannot see the chat, mm -hmm. but. I am on YouTube and I see the comments from some of these people about uh, me and Melody's relationship. So I want y'all to keep it cute. Mm. Melody and I are friends. I am not just her makeup artist. Um, we've built and established a relationship for now eight years, not seven years. It is eight years uh, this year. And I love her. I would never do anything to hurt her. This is on the record. So you all can replay this. And God forbid there comes a day that Melody and I split. 
the level of respect that I have for that woman and the respect that she has for me, it would just end there. I would never badmouth her like some of the people have in the past because this is a genuine friendship. And I don't foresee our friendship ever ending. And the only way that it will end is um, because of the inevitable. So stop talking about me in those comments because I see it and I don't like it. Please stop. I would never hurt Melody. And I know you guys ride for her heavy, um, but she speaks highly of me and that's because she knows me. So please stop bashing me in those comments because I'm gonna have to start replying to them and you all are really not gonna like me. So I can reply to them because Melody runs a tight camp and she is not for the mess. She wants her glam squad and anybody working with directly with her or indirectly with her to be their best all the time. So professionalism is important. So um, I'm not gonna hurt her. So you guys stop saying that in these comments. And I Period. love that. I love that because yeah. Uh, and another thing too. Another thing I got to. I got. We got to clear it up only because we are we're, we're friends, right? Yes. You yes. wouldn't be friends with anybody that would talk down on her and right. Our friendship would probably definitely be like <laughs> go right, and so highly respectfully. I mean, that's all I've seen you give is respect. You protect her. Okay. <laughs> you definitely protect her. So I think y'all gotta respect that most definitely. Well, I don't think y'all yeah. do have to respect it. <laughs> That's my baby. That's my baby. I love her. So please stop in these comments about you don't trust me. Melody shouldn't trust Jay. You don't have to trust me, okay? Because I've been all up and through her house, okay? So <laughs> it's a little too late for that. I love her and um, I respect her. I respect what she's doing. I respect how she moves. And um, I want you all to just uh, eventually, I mean, you know, the truth of the matter is, uh, Don, they don't know me. I don't talk a lot. So, you know, if I happen to pop up on one of her lives, eating one of her delicious pot roasts, or being at Essence, eating and, you know, just shooting the shit, I don't talk a lot. You know, there has been so much going on over this past week. Uh, her manager, Don, has spoken out about it. I've never met Carson. Carson has spoken about it. But I don't speak about these things because the truth of the matter is, is I'm her makeup artist. So, and I'm her friend. But I work for her also. So it's kind of touchy. You know what I mean? I don't ever want to go out and say something that can be damaging to my work relationship with her. Absolutely. So if you all are not adult enough to understand how to have a friend and how to work for a friend, then I'm sorry. Maybe I should run a, um, a crash course like Melody does. She does the uh, property preservation. I'm going to do workmanship, friendship, relationship class, how to separate the two. Come on, Oprah. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> no, but I, I I'm here for you clearing that up because people gotta yeah. respect that though. People people definitely have to respect that. You gotta respect where where people are relationships. And one of the things that I've said is y'all don't know who knows who. Y'all don't know right. what type of relationships are also built behind the scenes. Like you just don't know. So thank correct you for clearing that up. Okay. Yeah. Thank okay. You. All right, let's get back into our game real quick, and then we're gonna get into the all right. uh, to the question. All right, all right. So, yeah, you going? Say, I know you're a church boy too. I know you're a church boy. Yes, I my oh Lord, I curse. My dad's a bishop. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, <laughs> I know and they are, are watching. <laughs> Dad, hold on. My parents are watching. Daddy, I am so sorry. <laughs> I, Mom, I am so sorry. Mommy that would not happen sorry. again. I'm Baptist now, though, so I think we get to curse a little bit. <laughs> well, you, yeah, Baptist people, that would child do. You know, I, I can't say the same, you know. Um, yeah, we will curse you out now. I'm Baptist. Straight holiness here. Straight holiness. That's here. right. <laughs> but I still want to curse you out. I still want to curse you out. Holiness and all. Holiness and all. all right. Okay. <laughs> That's right. What they say, don't try me, try Jesus, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, listen. So you going to a gospel concert, 
these three people are on the roster. And I find this interesting because I think you like all three of these people, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. But they're all uh, 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 choir heads or people who have tend to have choir music. Okay. All right. Okay. Hez, John, and Ricky. Ooh. <laughs> I had to make this one tough. I did because they all they all like lit. And I have to choose one. Yes. You only get one VIP access to, to the to the concert. <sighs> okay. Um Oh my God. Okay. Process of elimination. I'm going to get rid of John P. Key because I've seen him already. Um, I've seen him so many times. <laughs> and right. And, but I love Hezekiah Walker and I love Ricky because they keep choir music alive. Absolutely. But if I had to choose one, it would be not because I like one over the other, but because one is consistently releasing music. So I would have to give my vote to Ricky Dillard. I love him. I love Ricky too. The, the, yeah, the, I love him. And I would love to meet him. So if you're listening, Ricky, I want to meet you. <laughs> Come on, Ricky. And I want to audition. I want I want to audition for your Atlanta your Atlanta chapter, your choir year. <laughs> yes. Come on. Come on. I know quite a few people that actually sing with Ricky. Uh quite a yeah, few. I know a few. Um, but I know more lemon heads than I know. Ricky Dillard. Shout out to the Lemonheads. Shout out to the Lemonheads. Kevin Lemons. Shout out to the Lemonheads. Lemon and rest in peace to Ashley, you know? Oh, my God. That. Yeah. That that hit different. That Now, that wouldn't hit different. When I saw that yesterday, I, I, I was I was done. I was like, yo, it, 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 that, that one was tough. That one was tough. <laughs> Shout out to y'all that know who we talking about. Talking about Hezekiah Walker. Come through. Come. I mean, uh, Ayer Collin. Come through. Come through. I'm here. Yeah, through. you know that, they're a big deal. You know. And rest in peace to to Kevin Lemons. Um, yes, rest in peace, Kevin Lemons. Kevin at the Absolutely. beginning of this year, man. And if y'all know anything about them, they sing down, y'all. Y'all gotta go look them up on YouTube. Uh, right before. Well, not right before, but before he passed, he was able to release another project. So you guys got to go check that out. Carson is in the chat. What's going on, Carson? What's going on? Um, I also oh, my saw... God. Carson. Wait a minute. Carson is in here? Yes. There's Carson right okay. there. I I can't see it, but I never met her. Hey, Carson, girl. Thank you. Thank you very much for all you do. <laughs> <laughs> and I saw somebody else in here. Listen, if you are a content creator... And you are in here. Can y'all comment again? I would love to shout you guys out uh, for sure, for sure. So if you guys are a content creator and you are in here, let me know, and I would love to shout you out. Okay. All right. So now, yeah. Let's move shout on. out to uh, yeah. no sir. Shout out to um hot what's hot tea? Yes, yes. Here yes, for hot yes. tea. I don't think I've seen her. And yet, what's happening? Her and what's happening for sharing this? Absolutely. Absolutely. Yep. Absolutely. I appreciate I'm done. It. Hey, everybody, talking out loud. What's going on? What's going on? How are you? How are you? Um, so, yeah, just let me know if y'all in here and I will speak. OK. All right. Oh, Carson. So, here's our next one. I think this one is a little tough, too. Um, but let's go. <laughs> All right. Oh, no. Okay. You down this is to easy. the listen. You down to the uh to the to the to the to the to the concert. Okay, you can only get VIP passes to this specific <laughs> concert, and you can only get one. Who is it going to be? Well, being that I was once Church of God in Christ, um, I already seen Karen. Love her. Um. Mm, Cece Winan is great, but she has an audience and it's not me. So my pick would definitely be uh, Yolanda Adams. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and let me clear that up before they start attacking me, the Cece Winan fans. It's not that I don't like her music. The last album that I liked by Cece Winan was Alone in His Presence. 
and that's my favorite album. But I don't like a lot of worship music per se. I like a kind of a mixture of both. I like love songs like From Me to God and Yolanda Adams, Everyone Knows, Open My Heart. That song, is just, it, re it resides, it resonates with me a lot. So I like a little bit of worship. I like a little bit of church. And I feel like Karen Clark and Yolanda Adams gives you like a bit diversity. Uh, Cece Winans, you're going to hear on the 88.9s. More contemporary with that. side. Contemporary, yeah. right. Yeah, so that's not my thing. I'm churching. So those two. <laughs> I'm the same way. I'm the same way. But y'all yeah. already know. Those of you that know me know I ride <laughs> for the Clark sisters, okay? Y'all already yeah. know about me. Y'all know I ride for them. Like, <laughs> I ride for them. You're not going to never get to come for them. Um, right. And then, y'all, I don't know if y'all have experienced Yolanda Adams live. Right. <sighs> live. That's like a a a she's like a wrecking ball, okay. <laughs> she she kills. So I be here for, for Yolanda Adams. Yeah. I'll she's from your area though. She's from Houston, yeah, right? You're in Dallas. She's from Yeah, Houston. okay. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. So listen, I just wanted to do that little quick game, that little icebreaker, you know what I'm saying? Just because <laughs> I know you like music. I like music, okay. Shout out to the mods for posting uh, other content creators' uh, uh, links. I'm, I'm, y'all know how I am. I'm totally good with that. I appreciate that. All right. So listen, we got to get into who you are. Okay? okay. Aside from you being Melody's makeup artist, let's get to know you really quick. Uh, okay. Tell us, uh, now listen. <laughs> Let us know what you want us to know. But we already know you're a country boy. <laughs> we already know you're a church boy. <laughs> but yeah. tell us a little bit more just about you in general. And Mel, shout out to Mel because she is in the chat. Oh, she's in here. <laughs> hey, oh, baby. <laughs> I, hey, Melody. Hey, baby. I'm here. <laughs> and you know, she's probably here to make sure that I don't do anything wrong. But let me tell you something. I am much I older than Melody. You would. No, but you know what? The thing about it is, is Melody is a boss, okay? And when I'm around her, I feel like she's like, like she's my boss, almost like a, a mama bear. Like she's a protector too. So she doesn't want you to say or do anything that would get yourself in trouble, right? So... I am much older than Melody, okay? Melody is, I believe, 35, 30, 35? Am I right? I Sorry, Mel. Good, I can't keep up because she looks young. 7th Avenue Premier Skincare. Go get you some. And I am... Plug. Okay, come on. <laughs> I'm 41. I'll be 42 this year. So, yeah. I'm much older than she is. But she's going to make sure that I don't do any wrong. 37, 37, 37, 37. She's 37? Yes. But see, I never know. I can't keep up with her. I ask, And she'll tell you, ask her age all the time. It's just something I don't yes. care to remember because... I barely keep up with my own. <laughs> Somebody was just asking me yeah, the other so day. No. I took two years back. Hell, I forgot. I was like... <laughs> I forgot. That. Yeah, so... Yeah, so um, a little bit about me. I was... um. I'm born and raised Florida, a Floridian. I'm from a small town called Fort Pierce, Florida. Um, once I graduated Fort high school, Fort Pierce, like Fort Gordon, Fort, Fort Pierce. Fort Pierce. Okay, gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah, I'm from Fort Pierce, represent my city there. It's a little small town. Um, right out of high school, I went to college at Payne in Augusta, Georgia. And then I left to pursue my career in makeup artistry. So I went back to South Florida. And then um, I moved to Atlanta in 2016. I met Melody and um, it's been up from there. Also, um, during the pandemic, we couldn't work. Um, before we shot Behind Every Man, um, <laughs> before we tried to shoot that, um, we were in the middle of a pandemic. 
So I started my candle line, which is J Taylor Home Fragrance. If you guys follow me on Instagram, my home fragrance line um, will be, the link will be in my bio. Um, but, uh, and also if you follow me, you know that I lost my brother in November. So right. my okay. candle business kind of got the back burner because I was grieving. So I have not produced any of my lux luxury candles uh, since I lost my brother, but I plan to uh, start that business up again in the fall. Come on, it was a hard pill to swallow for sure. I'm 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 here for it, and sorry to hear that for sure. Sorry to hear, yeah, that. Sorry to hear that. Uh, shout out to everybody that's in the chat. Go ahead, sorry. But Don, I, but Don, outside of that, in my conclusion, um, I'm very uh, charismatic. I'm fun. Um, I love to laugh. I love to make people laugh. I don't like to see people sad. Um, so I'll exhaust my energy so that your energy could be up. And that that is why I am so special. Period. Period. Not a lot yeah, told. Love. Not a lot told. Not a lot told. No, I will. At least what I know of you. Not a lot told whatsoever. Um, the chat is analyzed. <laughs> the chat is definitely like agree. I mean, uh, sending you well wishes and condolences. Uh, child, the UK is in the house. We got some people in here from the UK. And by the way, it's 878 okay. people in here now. Okay. So, hey, I think that's the most people I've ever seen in your chat. Don't do that. <laughs> don't do that because that is, if don't do that because that is not true. Okay? <laughs> hey, I've seen 96, 200. You know, you know, I'm, you know, no, that, but done. But wait, done. wait, 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 <laughs> wait. That is not shade. That is me saying that I'm proud of you. I'm really proud of you, friend. No, that, that was definitely shade. And you know, we can pick up on our own shade. It was definitely <laughs> shade, but the shade wasn't true. Okay. <laughs> It was not shade. shade. I love you and I'm proud. I had numbers when I interviewed Mel and I had numbers when I interviewed Kiki. We're not gonna do that. We're not gonna do that. Yeah, okay. Maybe, maybe with Mel. I didn't see Kiki's interview, but <laughs> it was, and I was, I was but you have to know I didn't see Mel's interview either because I was at her house. Uh I was getting her ready. They, they know you were shade. They said you was being shady. For sure, I, I don't know how I picked up all this. I know, honey, the girls know shade when they when they hear shade, honey. So hey, forget your comments. They don't know me. That was not. Shade. <laughs> we know shade. We know shade. Yes, that was know. not shade. That was me giving you love. I am proud of you. Well, I take it, but it was still shade. <laughs> <laughs> But I'm here for it. I'm here for it. Shout out to Millie Chun TV. If I see y'all coming in, uh, they get ready to slow the chat down because the chat is moving very fast. Um, all right. So we know who you are now. So how long have you been working with uh Mel? Uh as previously stated before, um it is eight years this year. Happy anniversary to me. Come on, we love it. Yeah, it'll be eight years this year. Eight years. That's a long time. That's a long time. Yeah. Her, her sure. babies were her babies were babies. Funny story. Come on. <laughs> Tank you know. was a Tank was out. I, I remember going to the hotel to do Melody's makeup for the first time. And uh Tank and Mariah were like babies. Boss baby was a baby. And um I remember I was doing Melody's makeup. And Tank came in there. He said, "What's your name?" <laughs> and everyone knows, like I'm like cringy around kids. I'm like, "Oh my God, get it, get it, get your kid." <laughs> Me too. <laughs> please get your kid. Please get your kid. I was kid. like, "What is it? Get your kid." And um, uh, <laughs> Melly and I laugh about it all the time. And Tank was like, "Are you? You got a girlfriend?" Are you married? <laughs> Why you don't have no kids? <laughs> I was like, Melody was in the other room and I was pecking up leaving. I was like, Mel Melody, Melody, come get your kids. <laughs> <laughs> that was, I mean, I, I promise you, that was the highlight 
of my meeting with her because the kids were just being kids and um, they were full of bright kids. <laughs> and I was like, where is this coming from? Let me get out of here because I got to go. Kids <laughs> ask more questions than, than you have to do meeting the uh, spouse's parents, child. Okay. Kids going to try to figure it yeah. out the best of their ability. Uh, by the way, Mel said, no, eight years, I thought your girl could keep folks around. Right. That's why the people be lying, you know what I'm saying? But the thing is, it's not that she can't keep people around. People can't stay around. So it is very true when she says that people are, some people are only temporary. Either you're going to get something from them they're going to get something from you. You get something from each other and you just grow apart. Um, I wish people just knew how to grow apart and, you know, just stay apart. You, you know, if I am separated from someone but for whatever reason, there's no need for me to talk about the relationship anymore because it no longer exists. That's weird to me. That's all I got to say about that. <laughs> I, agree. I agree with you. It's that. weird. Like, it's weird. Like, if you don't, if we're no yes. longer, if we know, if we no longer have a relationship, leave me alone. You don't have to speak about me. I don't have to speak about you. It doesn't have to be a hostile separation. You God said go. The, the, so go. <laughs> <laughs> You know, you you okay? I'm 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 here for that. I'm I'm I'm, I'm yeah. here. For that. I'm here for that. God take um, them. Now, I, going back to something that you said, you actually said that you met Mel in Atlanta, right? I did. She was here for an event with Sheen Magazine. I'll never forget. Sheen Magazine. And you were there. How that happened? Yeah. How they, how they went down? Okay. Well, I worked for Mac for a very long time, and. I believe her name is Car Carla. Mel know her name. I, I follow her on Instagram. I'm so sorry, Carla or Carly. So I'm sorry, I can't remember. But it was my old colleague. She was from Alabama, but she worked in South Florida. And uh, she was actually a makeup artist for Mel previously before. And she relocated back to Alabama, but she couldn't travel with Melody for that event. She knew I had just recently moved to Atlanta and I was trying to, you know, establish myself here. So she called me and said, hey, I can't make it to do my client. She's beautiful. You'll love her. You could do it one time like that. <laughs> so we exchanged information. I called Melody and then I got the, I didn't know who she was. At that time, Melody was already established. I didn't really know much about it because I don't pry into my clients' personal lives. If they want me to know, they'll tell me. I don't go looking them up, you know, because yeah. at the end of the day, you know, when I'm done, I'm I get my money and I leave. So what chill. happens? <laughs> what happens after that? You know, it doesn't really matter to me. I don't know. I don't have to know who my clients are because I'm not charging my clients based on who they are because my prices are consistent across the board, whether you are on television or you are going down to the courthouse, you know, I'm not going to upcharge you because you're a celebrity. And she was a millionaire then. Oh, millionaire. Congratulations, man. Oh, millionaire. <laughs> I love a millionaire, honey. I love a millionaire. Yeah. A and, young millionaire and, like yeah she, and she's beautiful and she's kind hearted and she pays me a healthy lump sum of money. So do not ask me anything that will cost me my job. <laughs> yeah. She pays she pays very well and travels me very well. Do not cost me do not ask me anything done that will cost me my job. I will cuss you out. <laughs> Oh, well, no, I'm just playing. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. You know, I respect you. I would not do that. I would not do that. I would not do that. <laughs> and listen, I know. Me, I'm just messing. Out. Shout out to everybody in the chat. Shout out to everybody in the chat. 
whether y'all like me or don't like me, y'all here. And I'm here for it, okay? <laughs> I saw a lot of people saying, you know, they 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 not here because of me, okay? But but I, I get it, I get it. Y'all on my platform, though. Y'all on my platform. Anyway, Jay, shut up before the people. Shut up before the people leave. Now, let's get to the meat and potatoes, Don. <laughs> I guess that's what make me different, because you know I. Anyway. <laughs> No, I know. I know that you're a talker. Oh yeah, I. You know, I. I, I love to. Uh, I love to talk. <laughs> I love to talk. Yeah. Okay, listen. So, of course, since we know that you are the makeup artist for male, let's let's kind of back up a little bit. No, 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 no. One of her makeup artists. I was actually just about to ask you. Is there a team of you all, or if you work completely by yourself? I was literally just here to ask you that. <laughs> no, um, unfortunately, my schedule doesn't allow me to be in Huntsville all the time. But I found a beautiful young lady uh, when Melody had to travel to Chicago by the name of Lauren. She is beautiful. She has a kind spirit. I believe that she was featured on YouTube for the first time Um maybe last week. So you probably got a glimpse of her. Um, Lauren is Featured amazing. YouTube, like how? I mm -hmm. think Melody did a live and you know how people pick up her lives and post it's her live. Gotcha. Yeah, and put them on YouTube. Lauren was on the on the video because she had to pick Melody up when they got the flat tire. So that's Lauren. She's Melody's uh, makeup artist. And currently right now, I can say that she's the main makeup artist because she's done Melody more times this season than I have. But trust me, I was there. I did the purple dress. I did the blue dress for the opening. And I did a couple of others. The opening blue dress is a slay, honey. It's definitely a Thank slay. You. It is definitely a slay. I mean, y'all did y'all good one. I mean, y'all did y'all good one with the with, with the um with the um with the reunion last year, like the best dress. Ooh. Like, that was absolutely amazing. Now, yeah, she was perfect. Absolutely. Now, speaking of that, being able to, because I don't I don't know how this works, okay. Uh, but the whole Jay Bolin being being the stylist and completely, you have to work with him, right? Because he you're you're a makeup artist, right? So. How how was that experience? Because Jay Bolin, I mean, Jay Bolin is Jay Bolin. <laughs> so how, working, how was that? Working with Jay Bolin was a phenomenon. Um, and again, <laughs> working with Melody, you have to expect the unexpected. I didn't know he was styling her. You know, we have a stylist in Atlanta that we work with from time to time. Hey, Troy. Um, Hey, but sure. you know, with Melody, she's always she's gonna go for the juggler. You know what? You know, no one's gonna be better than her. And I think that's the problem that people have. You know, now there were some pretty gowns. Granted, this uh, reunion versus the last one, I won't. Now I'm not being messy now, but it was definitely a step up from the previous reunion. And um, Melody's dress this time shut it down again. So. I like the way you play. Jay Bolin, but again, Jay Bolin, it was he was a phenomenon, and I was so happy um, to work with such a force um, in the industry. So yes, listen, I've been following Jay Bolin for for some years now, um, mm -hmm. and just seeing the people that he worked with. So when I saw Mel with him, I was very excited about that. I thought that was a dope collab. Uh, everything yep. was just was super dope. Even the, you know, the 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 other stuff that was outside of the actual reunion was dope. Uh, absolutely. Yeah. The collaboration, the clothing line, everything was perfect. I'm here for and it. And not everybody, I'm not everybody can do that. They can't afford it. Mm. Mm. Okay. Well. <laughs> <laughs> Child, not they can't afford it. <laughs> not they can't afford it. Okay, listen. 
That was shade. I just could skate over. I could not skate over that one. <laughs> Speaking of that, this is just a question. Okay. Um, how is it? Does any of the other cast? I guess y'all can say I'm being messy if I ask this question. But do any of the other cast ever ask you to whip their face up, beat their face real good? Um. <laughs> Um, oh my God. So let me say this. Yes. But that was earlier in the game. Um, and let me tell you, I love me some Kimmy. I love Kimmy. Okay. So another funny story. Kimmy was in Atlanta and she hit me up and she was like, hey, I'm in Atlanta for an event. I know how Melody is about you. <laughs> Can you do my makeup? Can you call and ask her, is it okay if you do my makeup? Okay, respectfully, so, <laughs> she asked for you to ask her. So that's, that's respectful. I'm telling you, that that's why I rock with Kimmy. Um, and I called Melody, and I was like, um, I know what the deal is. Let me call. And I sent her someone. I sent her a, a friend of mine. I didn't even really have to ask Melody because... I didn't want to make a situation out of nothing. I had other makeup artist friends that would have loved to do Kimmy. So I called my friend DeMorris and he went and took care of her. Well, that's interesting. That was only because she was local. She's never asked me to do her for the show. I want to make that correction. Excuse me. She was here for an event in Atlanta. And I'm here in Atlanta, so it was easy. You know, hey, I know Jay. Let me hit him up. And it just so happened that I was working anyway. So I sent my friend to do it. Period. That's how you're supposed to do it, right? That's how you're supposed so to do that's it. respect. She already knows Melody. Listen, Melody does not share glam. That is not a secret. Her people are her people. If she flies, if she fly me into Huntsville, no one else went in on that ticket to Huntsville. So what would it look like for me to get a ticket off Melody, do her makeup, and then go across the city and do somebody else's makeup on the same platform that did not help or contribute to get me there? So I would never yeah, that, that. would be shady, honey. That would be shady, shady. Oh, dude. I would never do that. Let me but tell you, there would be no J. Taylor MUA Tad and Melody's posts, okay? <laughs> I would I would be a dumb, I would be dumb for it. Stick a knife in me. I would be tent just as tender as those roasts that she put in her oven. I would be dumb. Hey man, okay? Mel, Mel, if you still listening, <laughs> listen, I got I got to try this roast, honey, because this roast oh man, that roast is out. delicious. I'm here. And you know roast. it's good. Done. You know it's good when you see that marble color on the meat. Come on, Mel. I mean, Mel, I, that's not... all I've been hearing about lately is about this roast child. This roast, this roast, this roast, honey. I, I need to taste this. What, what is it? Giving? That's her dish. That's her dish. She can cook that for me anytime. And that broccoli casserole thing she does. Oh, no. And the chicken pot pot. She makes a bomb chicken pot pot. Well, and one thing that I ha I have said about uh, uh, her brother is he looked like he could just throw down. And not only that, he take his time and make sure the people are served and served right. I, I love it. I love every bit of it. I would most definitely, as a chef, I would most definitely drop by his house, okay? And oh, Marcus food. can cook. Don't play with Marcus either. <laughs> <laughs> I'm always look if he got food over there. I'm always begging for a plate. <laughs> Even his pound cake, his pound cake is amazing too. <laughs> baby, baby, everything be looking good, and I'm not one of the. I'm not a very picky person when it comes to eating. There are some things that I don't eat, but listen, if I say I eat your food, that means you, you your food look good, and you look like you know what you're doing. Other yeah, people, Melody can cook. Other sure. people that sell potatoes and stuff, I don't eat that. I wouldn't eat that food. Anyway. Oh, see, see, you did that. <laughs> see, you did that. Now, when I kept saying show enough potatoes down there in New Orleans, y'all tried to say I was being shady. 
But I ain't never had no show no potatoes. So I don't even don't even get me to talking about that. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> I had to throw that in there. I, I, I almost definitely had to throw that in there. I, Chef said that. Chef said it. He said it. He said it. And I am totally okay with it. Wanda, what's up? <laughs> okay. Moving right along. <laughs> You're going to get me in trouble. See, I knew I shouldn't have came on here. I'm not, I, I, okay, listen. Again, <laughs> that was the chef that said it. Chef said it. Chef said it. Chef said something about the potatoes. Okay, listen, but I do got a question for y'all. Y'all here, can y'all please at least like the video? Please? please. Yes, please. Give it a thumbs up, please. It's 1,200 people in here. Please, please, please. Like it's it. what? 1,200 <laughs> people in here. Now you write about hey. now you would your now your shade would be true. Okay, now your shade would be true. I have never had that many people in my chat. So now your shade would be true. <laughs> Okay, well, let me say it again. Chef Dunn, this is the most people I've ever seen in your chat. <laughs> Dunn, Dunn, this is it. This is this is the most people I've ever seen. Now, you don't have like a like a percentage of these people in there. I've seen 20. Not a percentage. I've seen 20. I've seen 80, 90, maybe 300. <laughs> Maybe 125, but I ain't never seen four digits in here. <laughs> I haven't even, I ain't going to even hold you. <laughs> it ain't no lie. <laughs> so I this is what I suggest. I suggest you hurry up and let's get through this interview because I got to go. Okay. Well, let's get to the, um, <laughs> to the, to the meat and potato. Let's, let's go. I'm potato. ready. Let's go. Let's give the people what they want. <laughs> well, we're gonna give them what they want. We're gonna give them what they want. Okay. So there was a this is about to be a little messy. There was a post uh, that was uh made on the Love of Marriage Huntsville Instagram page. Okay. Do you have it? There I do have it. I have a copy of it and Ooh, I put it here. It's long. It's long. It is long. It is long. Where did it come uh, from? Is that me? Yeah, it was. It was. It's. It's definitely you. Okay. Oh, okay. Um, All right. And um, do you remember what you said? Uh, kind of. Why don't you remind me? I, I'm not quite sure. Okay. Because I want to know where you're going. I want to know where you're going with this. Okay. So you said okay. I personally know as a makeup artist for Melody S. Holt at the time that was her handle. Uh. He has lost his mind. Furthermore, what men are watching, uh, what men are watching the kids other than Mark, their uncle. Since March, this man has made posts and idolized threats. He says, leave me alone. Melody literally changed her number two times and dude still emailed her. And we all know he liked the email because his baby mama... <laughs> the baby mama is a whole nother story. And yes, Y'all do remember them emails, okay? Okay? Uh, posted the emails. Now, I'm glad Melody, Melody is finally standing up for herself because I've seen firsthand what she endures, and it hurts because she has to keep her game face on so the kids don't see her sweat. That'd be enough for me right now. I'm going to stop right there real quick. Just because okay. I hate to see... Um, it be about the kids, you know what I'm saying? It it it, it, yeah. it really be about the kids. It be about the breakdown of the kids because mentally, you know, as black people, we want to make sure that our children are okay. So that 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 hit, okay, that that definitely hit. However, you went on to say, uh, he's a bully. I wish we can get the footage from behind every man. He literally interrupted production two days in a row. Okay, you said two days in a row because Melody wouldn't answer the phone, kicked everyone out of the house, and pushed the female hairstyle. So, so it got a little physical. Okay, we go. You went on to say uh, it was so bad that we had to call the police. 
And this was within the same week that he stole the 17K. He's a monster. <laughs> Jonathan Melody was a friend to everyone on Love and Marriage Huntsville platform until, until she wasn't. Literally gave money to a cast member during her custody battle, only to be betrayed by the said person who is now potentially a character witness for Martell. Um, four people, maybe five, all joined forces to do one thing, to destroy her, and everyone has failed. Remember this one thing. The ditch you dig for one someone else <laughs> prepare <laughs> to dig too, because you are falling too. Okay, first of all, you gave a lot of tea in this in this post, okay? But I would like to know what what initially made you make this post. I know I remember back then there was a lot going on. There were emails going back and forth, all of this stuff. But did you just get fed up? Like what 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 initially made you make this post? Um. Well, that same Instagram page, which was Love and Marriage Huntsville, I believe, had posted that person's live. Uh, and there were several lives in rotation. If y'all go back to that page around that time, it was just like, boom, boom, boom. And I was just like, oh my God. You know, I guess when you love someone um, and when the rest of the world can't see what I saw, it hurts, you know what I mean? So I felt at the time without her knowing and typically, y'all know I won't I won't respond to anything. I just gave my opinion. And um I at some point that opinion cost me. <laughs> so I want to be very careful because I don't want to get pounced on. I don't want nobody trying to beat me up again. And um wait, 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 wait. But we can't gloss over that. Hold hold on, wait a minute. I'm gonna, I'm just I try to beat me up, not beat me up. I try to jump on me again because I had an opinion. Now, everything that I said in that post, if you all think about the reunion that just passed, Carlos King said the very same things on that stage. He talked about behind every man. He asked, you know, about the the uh, same thing that I spoke about, about interrupting production and all these things. But there was nothing done to Carlos King. No words were exchanged. I literally said the same thing. There was an interruption in production. I was there from Atlanta for the very first time. I was lost. I was confused. I didn't know what was going on. I just knew that there was something happening and we all got put out of that house where we were filming. Um, so. Back to your question, the reason I said something was because I was just kind of over it. You know, I felt like there were a lot of mistruths told and I wanted to set the record straight. So what better person to say it than me? I was there. Oh, OK. I'm, 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 I'm here for it. I'm, I'm here for it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, now, I was there. I, I wanna I, I I wanna go back to this past reunion, this past January, right? Was it January? December? No, it was not in January. That was like October. Was it September, October? Okay, that's when y'all yeah. filmed it in September. October. Yeah, we filmed okay. it September, got October. It. Yeah, got it, got it, got it. Um, so I have seen bloggers report certain things, and um, one of those things is is that someone and something got unleashed at the reunion um and allegedly you may have been you may have been the 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 how can i target. put it yeah the target, target. You, you definitely were 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 the target allegedly well allegedly right right Allegedly. You say you heard that. You say you heard that, right? I heard this from several from several people. Absolutely. And they said allegedly it wasn't production; it was the makeup artist, right? Allegedly, that's what I heard. Yes. So, but because of 
my contract, I'm going to say allegedly, um, allegedly, that is that might be correct. Allegedly, it might be correct. I don't know. But you know what? Forget it. Let, let's stop this. That was a personal attack. And I feel that like I have the right to speak about that. I, I never spoke on it because there was no need to speak about it. I don't know who leaked that to the bloggers. But when I saw it, I was like, oh, my God. I think. Um, I don't know who it was, but yeah. I think Chit Chat reported it. I think uh, a True T reported it. I think What's Happening reported it. And um, they said a very reliable source told them, somebody from another glam, somebody from somebody else's glam team reported it. That was a personal attack on me. And if you all recall the reunion, Melody was like, God is my source. I don't need nothing for him. And boop, 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 boop. Well, during that snippet, I was playing. First of all, I don't care to watch what's going on on stage when I'm at the reunion. I'm usually playing Wuduku or uh, what is it, Solitary? Because I'm bored. We are literally there for like 14, 15 hours. I am bored out of my mind. I have ADHD. I have to move around. I'm eating chips. I'm drinking Coke. I'm doing anything to just like, <laughs> I'm eating food. I'm all over the place. I was literally in my phone playing a game. And I remember someone, she said, God is my source. I don't need you, woo, 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 whatever she said. I remember God is my source. Because I was just like, oh, okay. And then I went back to playing my game. Next thing I know, we ain't got no fans in here. She ain't got no fans. Who snapped? Who snapped? I didn't know what was going on. And next thing I know, somebody's pulling up on me, asking me, did I snap? And some other castmates had to pull that person away. That was a personal attack. And the reason why it was not televised was because I didn't sign a release form for it. I did not want to be depicted that way on television. That is not who I am. And I won't allow a monster to put me out there like that. So that's why it wasn't on television. So all the speculation about, oh, Melody was crying for him and whoop, whoop, whoop. No, no, baby, no. I was in that room packing my bags, trying to get on the first thing smoking. I was in fear for my life. <laughs> I mean, for real, like you imagine like playing a game in your phone and then out of nowhere, someone is trying to attack you. That's crazy to me. And that is, again, back to the post about behind every man. I mean, there was a leaf blower going on in the garage. We had to stop production. The police was called. There was there was. There's no secret about that. Like, we had to call the police, you know. So, prior to the 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 separation, the divorce, I had no issues with him. If I saw him in passing, I would speak. Um, but you know, I can't have a cordial relationship with someone that is at odds with my friend and someone that I work for. So again, you have to learn how to, you know, separate the two. And that's what I did. I just no longer needed or had to have a relationship with that person. And that's that. I don't know where that came from. Honestly, I don't because all day I had been on set touching Melody up. You saw mm -hmm. where the seat placements were, correct? There was right. Melody, there was Carlos King, and there was that person. And um, I had been in close proximity to the person. So it was almost the end of the night. We was wrapping the last segment and I was about to get pounced on. That's my personal experience. Um, so quick, quick question in regards to that. Had you mm -hmm. been working in 
close proximity before this actually happened at the reunion? Do you feel like no? I, I know I don't have to see him, but you know, in green screens, you know, we would see each other in passing. I had already wrote that post. That post was so old. If you go back and view the weeks of when that post was made versus when we did the reunion, Ooh, there yeah. were right. There were green screens made, are you know, filmed. There was scenes filmed, although I'm never around for scenes, despite people that in the comments that be like, oh, Jay just want to be on TV. No, I don't. Trust me. If I wanted to be on the show with Melody, I would have been. I have no desire to be on there. So y'all stop that. I don't want to be on the show. So as a friend, as a nothing, I have no desire to be filmed on this show. I'm a makeup artist. I got one job, and that is to keep Melody beautiful. She's already beautiful. But to add to that beauty for television, Melody is the only cast member that can go on that television screen raw and uncut, no makeup. She's done it several times. Name another cast member that has been on this show that went on there bareface. None of them. So leave me alone. Leave me alone. I, so I'm like, I'm I'm really like just lost for words because time is yeah, it happened. Crazy. It happened. It happened. I was attacked, not physically, thank God, because two of the other cast members um it was able to get him to calm down. Like I didn't even know what that, that was about because I never snapped, I never said a word. I think this is what I think. I don't even think that person even saw the post until later on that day. I feel like somebody else brought that post to their attention. Mm. It was so random. But again, yeah. I still didn't understand why the person would be mad about the post when the host of the show had said everything that I said. In the post. It's on television. We watched it during the reunion. So it wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't show because I refused to sign the release form. Well, I mean, I, and I don't think anybody can blame you on that. Don't nobody want to be shown. No, I, I'm a makeup artist. I'm not a cast member. Cast, not, a, not a friend of. No, I'm not paid. I'm not paid for that. I'm a makeup artist. I'm not a cast member. And he, that person had enough going on. So if that would have been on television, it would have just been something else added to the thousands of things they have going on. So I'm glad that I'm not a part of it. You know what I mean? Right. So things of that nature. Listen, now that 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 one took me for a loop because timeline wise, like I said, it just didn't make sense to me. So I'm glad that you were able to clear that up. Um, the comments. Well done. Let's let's be truthful about it. You know, I, you're my friend. Right. You're my friend. Let's just like call a spade a spade. You yeah. are my friend, and you knew because I called you, <laughs> and I was like, oh my god, oh my god. So I'm putting you out there. I called you. I was, you know, I was distraught. I was terrified. I couldn't find an early flight. I had to catch a red eye at one o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Trying to get away. Trying to get away. I was, get away. Like, <laughs> I was like, oh my God. I'm sorry, my thing moved. Um, I was like, oh no. Like, you know, I called you. So stop, stop playing. I called you. And I respect you because, you know, you have a job to do at the end of the day. You didn't say anything about it. And that's why, you know, I love you. I appreciate you. But I, you're my friend. I called you. I was like, I cannot believe this. I cannot believe this just happened. And that was that. Yeah. In real time, it 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 was uh it, it was a it, it definitely was a shakeup in real time because I was I was so like <laughs> I was shocked. I'm not gonna lie. I was I wanted to shocked. fight. No, I wanted to fight. No. <laughs> I was ready to fight. I mean, you was spit mad. You was spit mad. <laughs> because I'm like, I'm not on this show. 
What you? What is happening here? But all I gotta say I is, wanna... it's the protection, like protecting. Yeah, it's protecting. So I had to go. I had to go. <laughs> you did. You did. You did. You did. You did. You caught me. Hey, that, that, that was listen, a, that was a moment. I tell people all the time: do not let these eyebrows fool you, baby. I was ready to fight. <laughs> I was ready to fight because I couldn't understand for the life of me why I was in that position. You understand? And again, I feel like it was someone brought that to his attention because the whole day was fine. Because honestly, Excuse me. I don't have a knife in that fight between him and Melody. Right. All I know, I didn't have any issues with anybody and still don't any other cast members. When I see them, I always, first of all, I'm going to go back and I'm going to say, I love Kimmy. I'm like, hey, Kimmy, you're so beautiful. I love you. Good to see you. I'm glad you're doing well. I speak to Maurice. I don't really speak to Mar um, Marceau because I haven't had a relationship with him, but I will speak to Tisha. You know, I will speak to her even during the time of the dark soul and all that stuff. I knew that the only way the cast was going to get to a great place was if everybody in the middle, including Glam, stayed out of it, stopped giving opinions and allow the original six people to get back to where they were. That was the core of the show. And I tell, Melody would tell you, I tell her all the time, I wish that, I wish that this show could be, could be what it was when it first came out. Even with the, the friction, there, if everybody stayed out of the middle and allowed these people to, work out their own issues, I feel like it could still be a great show. But now I feel like too much has been said, too much has been done, and you can't turn another cheek. You only got two. I mean, how many you want to slap? <laughs> I only got one. How many cheeks you want to, how many times you want to slap me? You know what I mean? God said that he, you know, he, so... He <laughs> this season, if if you guys are watching, I love how I love how Melody is protecting her peace. Like she's mastered this thing. Like I am not going to be involved in any mess. When the mess starts, I'm going to exit stage left. She leaves every time. So I don't know why it seems like that has to be the. The mess has to be how the show kind of like blow up and becomes like this huge thing. That's not it. I believe, um, in my opinion, when uh, when Love and Marriage Huntsville first came out, it gave us, it gave us, you know, something, you know, to look forward to, you know, to see people like us on television, you know, building homes, selling homes, doing property preservation, making money. Big moves. I, I just think, in my opinion, since I've been there, somehow or another, the show has taken like a left turn. And but, I wanted to come back this way. I, and I'm going to say this. <laughs> this is me. This is me. This is the chef saying this. This ain't, this ain't got no, this ain't got nothing to do with Jay. But it's a pattern. Mm -hmm. It's a pattern. It's not just on Love and Marriage Huntsville. It's a pattern throughout. And that's just what it is. You know, I, I have to call it out the way I see it. And, you know, we've seen, we've seen how, how the producer, I'll just put it that way, has done things in, in, in the past. And I think that the, the show has taken a turn um, which is one of the reasons why I'm really not checked in the show. The social media stuff is what got my attention and got me hooked. What's really going on with the <laughs> show, I can't really 
I can't really get with just because of the fact that it just has gotten to that point. Like, I, I, yeah, I, yeah, and, and I would go ahead. I would love for in a perfect world, I would love for it to be the way it was. And regardless of what what's happened in a perfect world, I would love to see the show the way that it was. And I, I, I mean that, you know, we can let bygones be bygones um, if it was like minute things. But again, so much is so much has happened, so much has been said that I feel for some people, um, you just can't come back from that. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it has been some things that that's tough to come back from. You know, it is tough to come back from. Um, I see, I see y'all in the comments. I see what y'all saying in the comments. Um, what are they saying? Because I can't see. So a lot of them are calling the producer out, you know. Uh, well, know. I can't speak on that because I don't work directly with these people again. I have hardly worked this season. I'm I'm watching what you guys are watching. I haven't seen anything. I haven't been at any scenes. I haven't filmed anything. I wasn't at the name change. Um, so I don't know nothing. I see what you guys see. You know, and it's, I feel that it's just sad I, because I really want these people to be what they were when I first saw them. I was so happy to meet all of them. When I first came on, oh man, I wanted to meet them all. I wanted to meet them all. And um, now I don't care. I just want to do my job and go home. I don't want to be around them. And... <laughs> I don't even know if I'm going to be at the reunion this year because, you know, I haven't really worked the season. So I feel like if Lauren can't go, I'm definitely going to be there. Right. But I would definitely give Lauren the opportunity to go because she did most of the filming. Um, but if I'm there, I'm taking I'm taking security. I'm going to have my own security. Just like Melody had her own cars <laughs> and people wanted to use her cars. No, I am taking my own security. And when I feel like I'm going to be attacked, I'm like, attack, get him. <laughs> <laughs> Spell the rod, spoil the child, get him. I need that shield of protection. I'm not here for this. But, you know, in all seriousness, I just, I don't want no parts. I just, I, I want no parts. I told Melody, um, last season, when we feel after we filmed that reunion, that I kind of needed a break. That was a lot for me. I wasn't expecting yeah. that. I wasn't. I really wasn't expecting that. Not me. I don't bother anybody. Right. I. You know. I... <laughs> me. <laughs> Not me. Not me. Little old me. No. <laughs> Listen, I don't blame you. I'd have the security of two child because everybody got time to be to be playing. But because when I go down, uh, and go but there, you know what's funny? What you, you know want. what's funny? What? You know when Miss Marlene did her green screens, mm -hmm. like when she had her confessionals. Now they never show Miss Vanessa confessionals. I did Miss Vanessa and Miss Marlene. I didn't get a shout out. He shot out the hairstylist, but he didn't tag me. Okay, your mom was beautiful. Wait, wait. That wait. was my work. I, I Melody mean, allowed me to do that. You I hear mean, me? I production mean, asked me. Production asked me to do. And first of all, I love Miss Marlene. She is funny. Okay, she is funny, and I did Miss Marlene. Her face was beautiful. I think she had on like a wine color dress or whatever that was. I helped her get dressed. I did her makeup. Um, the girl, um, Tisha O hairstylist, Yolanda. Hmm. I think her name is Yolanda, right? Yolanda did her hair.
I didn't get a shout out. He could have tagged me in that post. <laughs> you ain't had him blocked. <laughs> no, I, he's not. Blocked. Well, he is blocked. <laughs> now he is. But at that time, I didn't he have a problem a with him. He tagged Yolanda on hair. He didn't tag me on the makeup, talking about how pretty she was. That was my <laughs> word. <laughs> Miss Marlene, I love you. Oh, and she loved her makeup. <laughs> she loved her makeup. And he did not tag me. I want my tag. God damn. Oh, <laughs> listen. <laughs> No, I, I did I, that makeup. When y'all saw Miss Marlene on that TV screen, that was Jay. Melody said, you can do her. They'll, that's the kid's grandmother. And I did it. I was ready to go home. I had a flight to catch. I don't drive. Huntsville is three hours away. Melody would spend $1,000 on a plane ticket because she know I don't want to drive. And I'm going to fly to Huntsville. I was about to miss my flight, and you didn't tag me on that post. Marley. You didn't have no problem. <laughs> Melody paid them thousand dollars for that that airline ticket from Atlanta to Huntsville. Okay, I gotta go back and see that. Uh, see that. Uh, she oh was my. beautiful. She was. I got the picture. I sent it to you. Oh I God. got the receipts. I will send it to you. I got <laughs> pictures of me and Miss Marlene. That lady was so much fun. We had a good time. She had just got off work. She came to the hotel where we did the green screens. I, she had a beautiful dress. She had a beautiful dress and beautiful jewelry. I did her makeup. Yolanda did her hair. And he tagged Yolanda on hair, but he didn't say who did makeup. Yolanda didn't do their makeup. <laughs> yeah. Y'all in these comments, if that if, if, if y'all can't get that, then I'm because I, I see what y'all saying. I, I'm gonna need y'all to pick up on it, please. What they saying? I ain't seen. What they saying? They said you bad with names. Huh? <laughs> they said I'm bad with names. Yeah. What who I call <laughs> what who name I call wrong? <laughs> they ask who is Yolanda? <laughs> the girl that do hair. Okay. What's her name? I I oh, and that's my friend. I not my friend, but we ain't got no beef. What's her <laughs> name? Come uh, on, Dun Dun. What's her name? <laughs> they said Alanda. <laughs> oh, Alanda. <laughs> <laughs> Baby, let me tell you something. I was like, okay, wait. <laughs> Come on, why you got me calling the girl Yolanda? You could have told me, dang. See? No, that's I, what I mean. I, that, no, that's no, why, no. see? <laughs> Hold on now, Dun Dun. That's why I didn't want to come on your live. That is why, right there. Wait. You trying to set me up. You and I can't see the comments. I cannot see the comments. No, no, no. I thought you were saying it on purpose. <laughs> no, I wasn't. It's Alanda. You say you want me to move my yeah. camera up? Oh, you good. You good now. Okay. You good. At least no. stage it looked away. But no, you good now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Alanda. I'm sorry. I kept calling the girl Yolanda. <laughs> so I say you was thinking about Yolanda Adams. <laughs> Open my mouth. <laughs> but you know what I mean? Like, uh, I, you know, I, I, let, let me tell you something, Dun Dun. I would probably never do this again. So you got me. I've never, I'll probably never do this again, but. Yeah. No, I, I, thought, I, I ain't gonna hold you. I am not gonna hold you. I thought it was on purpose. <laughs> no, no, for real. That's I don't have a problem with that girl. <laughs> okay, now that is hilarious. Listen, I'm I'm finna get ready to do something because I know you gotta wrap it up and, and, and go. No, okay. it's okay. We good. Okay. I do want to take a few questions from the chat. Uh, oh Lord. 
A few random See, questions. your chat be messy. <laughs> well, there are a lot more people here than normal, okay? So. <laughs> yeah, I know. I got your numbers up. <laughs> I appreciate it. <laughs> I know. Oh, the soul matter. That's okay, though. If you don't feel I'm a good interviewer, blessings to you, though. You know, Who said that? There's a door. There's a door. I mean, what she wants you to do? <laughs> I don't know, but there's a door. There's an Come on, let's ask some of these questions. Forget right, about I that. I got some questions. Let's see. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> um, uh oh. So I'm I'm gonna put the question on the screen and then I'm gonna read it to you. Okay, if you decide not to answer it, that's totally. Oh my god. It. We gotta respect it, but this question <laughs> asks. Ask him his opinion on how Carlos treats Mel. Are you frozen? You froze? No. <laughs> okay. Enough said. Moving on to the next question. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Hurry up. <laughs> Hold on, Dunna. Now, I don't know that person. Who is that? I can't see the uh, name. Tennessee Girl is the name. <laughs> what is it? Tennessee girl. Tennessee girl. I don't know if you were here in the beginning. Melody pays <laughs> me a lot of money. Now, if you want to call me and talk about that off the record, you can call me and talk about that. Follow my Instagram. <laughs> call him on Instagram. He he follow my Instagram, his... Tennessee girl, and inbox me and let me know that you Tennessee girl, and I'll give you my opinion. <laughs> but it's gonna be in the disappearing chat. You won't be able to screenshot it. <laughs> oh, vanish mode. Yeah, vanish, vanish mode. Vanish. Yes, I love that. Everybody call vanish mode. Mm -mm, I don't need no vanish mode, baby, because I need to take a screenshot. Okay. Oh, uh, the people inboxing me telling me I got you at 1.3. <laughs> not the people inboxing you telling you that. They are. <laughs> Thank you. They are. Thank you. <laughs> Come on, next question, Don. Bro. Um, hold on. Is my baby here. Melody still in here? The comments, I haven't seen her comment in a while. I appreciate y'all okay. for the compliments. Thank you, thank you. You know it's going to always be somebody that, that anyway. Hey, did you, um, look, we must be on one accord. We both wore white shirts. White is for purity. <laughs> Pure. <laughs> okay, do y'all have any more questions? Come on, give me some more. Shout out to what's happening, y'all. Shout out to what's happening. I finally saw. Oh, what's happening? Hey, what's happening? Shout out to you. Shout out that, to you. Shout out to you. That's my Let baby. We something. don't know what she look like. We don't know what she look like, and we don't know what here for the tea look like. <laughs> now he's at one point. Now he's at one point four k. They texting me from my hometown, baby. They watching you. Well, I appreciate it. And thank y'all for saying that Jay got me to the 1.4K. God is so good. Thank you, Jay. I appreciate it. I, I really appreciate you. You know, you know, I'm going to always give the kudos where the kudos is supposed to go. But I need all 1,000, all 1.4K to go like your video. Please, guys. Chop. Um, okay, so... Uh, <laughs> but I wanted to say this just really quick. Shout out to what's happening because, again... Um, anything that I be needed promoted or whatever the case may be, she does, and I appreciate it. That's so dope. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. Um, we fine or whatever. Oh, we appreciate it. We appreciate it in our white. Don Don is not pure. Anyway, 
Let's see. I'm what? waiting on some more questions. They say I'm not pure. <laughs> they might be right about that, Dun Dun. I don't know. You take communion on first Sunday? Friend, I I do. I actually take communion every Sunday. <laughs> now, you know y'all supposed to do it on first Sunday, and you're supposed to ask God to forgive you and purify your heart, clean you up. I'm clean. Purify your heart. <laughs> okay, now, because, you know, if you take that communion dirty, you're setting yourself up now. You can't have the blood in the body if you ain't God, clean. Stop, please. <laughs> See, I wouldn't dare take communion tomorrow because I'm drinking, you know, so. Well, why are you going to take it tomorrow anyway? I'm just saying, if communion was tomorrow, I wouldn't do it. So you got to wait 24 hours? I don't know. I don't know how that works. Somebody, I got to ask my daddy. I yeah, think if Bishop. you ask for forgiveness, Bishop, you can if take you it. still in here, Bishop, first, there's somebody. If y'all in here, can y'all tell us? <laughs> if we fuck with Oh, my hours. God. <laughs> okay. So, that th this is the third, fourth, fifth, sixth, eighth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth time I see this question. So, I'm going to go to ask it and then you Okay, can what is it? What do you think about Stormy? What do I think about Stormy? Mm -hmm. Um, I, I don't have anything bad to say about Stormy. Stormy, uh, when I launched my candle line, Stormy supported my business. I went to CVS and I supported Canvas Girl Beauty. Um, and when I see Stormy, I speak. You know, again, I feel like Makeup artist hairstyle is we have to stay out of the stay out of the middle of stuff. Like whatever's happening between the cast members has nothing to do with me. My my opinion and my relationship with anybody on the cast, not that I have relationships with them, but the way that I feel it in won't be altered by what's going on on the show. Cast the cast relationships. Now, out of respect, am I going to call her on the phone and have a kiki moment? No. Right. But do I dislike her? No. I feel like when I see her, it's always cool. I'm like, what's up, Stormy? She's like, hey, she be in her car waiting for her turn on green screen. Excuse me, tap, testing at her phone. And I'll be like, I don't have any issues with people. I don't go out of my way to make issues with people. And Melody does not expect that from her team. That's ridiculous. That's so high school. If Melody ever came to me and said, don't, don't talk to them because I don't like them. I'm going to be like, girl, please. <laughs> I can speak to whoever I want to. And whatever the consequences are. And me, we laugh about it all the time. Like, I'm telling you, me and Melody have a great relationship. I said, and whatever the consequences are at that time, then I just have to deal with the consequences. She doesn't, I'm not a robot, and Melody doesn't, Melody doesn't treat us like that. She doesn't say, don't talk to them, don't have a relationship with them. When I see any of them, just like when they did the uh, photos in the yellow, the pink, and the blue dresses, I spoke to everyone. I did, except for, you know, whoever. You know, because of what had happened at the reunion. Um, but we were in the same vicinity um, and there was no hostility. So, again, that's why I feel like people can let bygones be bygones. And it's words unspoken. You don't have to say, hey, you know, it would be nice if some person, if someone said, hey, you know what happened at such and such? I messed up. I'm sorry. An apology is okay. And it's okay to acknowledge when you're wrong. That makes you human. It means that you have a conscience. And if said person came to me and said, hey, you know what? I was wrong. I apologize. We never had any issues. I'm cool with that. We don't have to speak. We don't have to talk on the phone. But just the acknowledgement that you did something wrong, it, it, it may, it's, it's okay. It's okay. 
So Stormy, I don't have any issues with her. I don't have nothing bad to say about her. She supported my business when I launched my candles. She actually bought multiple candles. And um, and I'm not saying that because she purchased from my business. It's just that we haven't had a reason to for me not to like her. Oh. But am I calling her on the phone? No. Am I interacting with her on Instagram? I mean, if it's something funny, I might. But nah, I'm not talking to nobody's Instagram. I'm not emailing her. I'm not texting her. But I don't have any um, ill feelings about her either. She cool with me. She cool in my book. I guess. That's, that's respectful. Carson is act, uh, actually agreeing with you saying that the stylist staying out of the, the mess is, is key. Stay out of yeah. relationships, stay out of the mess. And I think that that is very respectful because at the end of the day, you still got to see you, you getting your check from who you getting your check from. And at the end of the day, you still got to see these people when you do interact with them. Why not just speak and move on? The, the issue that Correct. you are having with my client, that's on y'all uh, with, with, with the show or whatever. So I can, re I, I respect that, actually. I definitely respect that. Yeah, but I have to say, too, Don Don, it's sticky. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, Because out of respect for my client, the other person has to understand that, hey, I can't have this kiki with you like we used to kiki anymore because there's tension here. So when I used to come to your dressing room and laugh and be like, oh, you look great, and this is this, and this is what's happening out there. And I can't do that anymore. There, there are a lot of young people coming up in this industry, right? And I'm glad Carson said something. When I came up in the industry, because I this isn't my first show. I work with Toya from Married to Medicine. I work with Sonny Holston from The View. Um, oh, <clears throat> as a professional makeup artist, I've been in situations where I've heard the worst. And I would never repeat it because when I'm on my job, I'm there to work. When I leave, I forget it. I don't think about that. And that's what I feel these hairstylists and makeup artists are lacking basic um, professional skills. You can be a professional makeup artist. You can be a celebrity makeup artist. You can be a celebrity hairstylist. But when you go into your client's home, that is their sanctuary. Absolutely. Whatever you hear in your client's home, you leave it in your client's home. Whatever happens on set, you leave it on set. I don't have any ill feelings towards anyone. And I, that's across the board. Anybody on the cast of Love and Marriage Huntsville, because I'm not a cast member. That is not my job. My job is to make sure that Melody is okay emotionally and physically and mentally. If we need to pray, if we need to put on gospel music while I'm doing her makeup, if she needs to cry in private, that is our business. Absolutely. When it is time to work, it is time to work. And I don't need when and when she's working, I don't need to be talking to the another hairstylist saying, "Hey, ooh, she was crying. She was just crying in the dressing room because what is that?" Right. So I I, I feel like I would listen if I could take some of these young babies who are so talented working on these sets and say, hey, this is where you went wrong. I would love to do that. But people, and I'm going to tell you something too. That girl, Jasmine, Tisha's makeup artist, I remember talking to her. Um, she was doing a live, and she was about to unleash the dragon. <laughs> and those bloggers was about to have a field day with her. And I mm. said, hey, Jazz, stop. Don't do it. And I respect that she respects me enough to be like, oh, Jay is on here. He told me I'm not to do it. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to get off this live. Y'all have a good night. Because sometimes you can talk yourself into a hole. Yeah. When, 
when things happen, I would rather you just let it die because tomorrow they'll be talking about something else. And I appreciate Melody for keeping her team, me included, in line. Because sometimes when I'm talking to her, I'm like, oh, I'm going to do this and I'm going to do that. I'm going to call this person. I'm going to reach out to this blogger. And I'm going to, she'll be like, no, you're not. Because I get heated too. Right. Because I feel for my client because she's not just my client. She is also my friend. She is someone that I say, I love you too. She'll say, I love you, fam. You know, and I'll say, I love you, fam. She'll call and make sure I made it home okay. You know, you don't just do that for anybody because I can go to a client and they don't, they can care less. Once their month, once their face is done, they See, send, give me my money. Let's they go. don't care. <laughs> <laughs> so the relationship is there. So in terms of like the other cast members, there are just boundaries that I won't cross. And I can be, I can still be cool with everybody. I can still be not cool, but I, that's the wrong word. I can still be cordial with everyone. And I can say, hey, Kimmy. Hey, Tisha. What's up, Maurice? What's up, Marceau? I don't even speak to that person. Um, but if we saw each other and he spoke, I would speak back. Because that would be an acknowledgement that, hey, I'm cool. I understand that some people don't apologize. And their way of apologizing could be like saying hello. And that's like, okay, look, I don't have no beef. If that person mm -hmm. said hello to me, I would speak back. And I would just keep going like we've always done. But I demand an apology and I demand a tag on that damn post when I did his mama makeup because she was beautiful. <laughs> Quick question, speaking on that. I guess this may be like a two, two, two part question. Okay. Um, after that particularly allegedly may have happened to you, did you seek any type of help or you just kind of dealt with that on your own? Allegedly what? You mean when I almost the got alleged, attacked? The alleged attack. Almost attacked. Yeah. No, it's not alleged. When he uh, when he almost attacked me, I'm gonna say alleged. what do you mean what you kind of help did mean. I get? You what, what, what do you, you mean what kind say. of help? You say what you want to say. Right, but I'm yeah, say. You, yeah, but what do you what do you mean? What kind of help? What kind of help did I need? I'm asking like nobody, nobody had anything to say. No, no, nobody on the Who? floor said anything to on you the floor? specifically. No, hell no, nah. ain't nobody on the floor said nothing. All the person that said something to me was Melody Cherie Rogers. Melody Rogers. She came to my aid, and that was the only person that I needed to come to my aid at that particular time. That's my client, Melody Cherie Rogers. Rogers, okay, Rogers. Do you Roger that? <laughs> y'all, Jay worked my nerves. Jay worked my nerves. <laughs> Roger that. Hello, Rogers. And that little man over there on that little island she was on. Y'all stop emailing that man. I see that for her future. That looks good on her. <laughs> That's how you level up. Okay, that man was filthy rich. What was his name? Allah, Ali. What was his name? Allah, <laughs> what was his name? Y'all know I'm bad with names. What was his name? I don't get a chuckle every time. <laughs> Allah, Ali, whatever his name was. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Melanie, what, 37? She can have another baby. She could be married and have another baby. Allah Ali. was cute. Ali. Uh, Ali? <laughs> <laughs> Ali. To know, Ali. To, to know us is to love us. We have a really great vibe, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I like Ali. 
You like Ali? Ali. Yep. But y'all okay. know Melody got her own thing going on, so she keep y'all out of her business. I'm not talking it. Oh, yes. Let me tell you something. If there was ever a time that she could do a dating show, like if she wanted to, like if a situation didn't work out, mm -hmm. I feel I like a dating it. show, I feel like putting her on a panel with a bunch of nice looking qualified men. Okay. And I should be one of the judges. Because <laughs> I'm going to call Ali. You want to make sure Ali is a part of the cast? He need to be in the lineup, for real. Because you need somebody just as rich I, as she is. How many people in the lineup to choose from? It, okay, because you know, she already got the man with the, the arm and the watch that y'all was trying to figure out. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm saying if there was a I time with she... I'm saying if there ever came a time that she was <laughs> qualified to do a dating show, I gotta watch my words. Then at that time, <laughs> if she's not seeing anyone, I would want to be on the panel and Ali would have to be in the lineup. They said they said Mel <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Not what they say? Ready to love. Ready no, uh-uh. No, she can't be on ready to love. <laughs> she can't she can't be on ready to love, but she has to have her own. She has to have her own thing. Almost like I love New York. We have to come up with a catchy name. Okay, this is what y'all I want y'all to put in the comments. If Melody had a dating show, what would you all call it? Give me some good names. Good Read one. those names out to me. Okay, I'm going to put them on the screen. <laughs> ready yeah, I can't see. <laughs> put them on the screen, Dun Dun. Give me the good one. Ah, okay, I'm ready. They, they, I'm waiting for the drop a bit here. Drop a bit here. Somebody said... You know, uh, I got one. I got one. Don't this Ooh, already... They already had a millionaire matchmaker. I, I got one, Dun Dun. That one already existed. Dun Dun, uh, I got one. I got one, Dun Dun. You know how she had money making mail? Uh huh. It needs to be love making mail. <laughs> Ooh, love making mail. Love wow. making mail. Wow. Like love okay. making mail. Okay. Like the love will make her, it will complete her. Somebody said checkmate. Ooh, that's a good one. <laughs> Pull up a shut up. Uh. Pull up a shut up. <laughs> Wait, those are fighting words. <laughs> okay, because we don't want Melody to be bridesmaiding. You heard her talking about bridesmaiding. We don't want Melody to be bridesmaiding. She needs to be a bride, not bridesmaid. Oh not somebody said. <laughs> Boy, y'all is tripping. Somebody said, "Wait, wait, wait, wait. Where did I mean, go? They going too fast." Ready for new love and marriage. <laughs> That's too close to love and marriage. Huh? That's kind of cute. That's kind of cute. That's too close to love and marriage. Huh? Somebody said, I like shit, mate. <laughs> Somebody said, mail up, mail match, uh, mail match in heaven. Oh, that's a, a good one, one, too. I think this is a cute one. Billionaire views. I like mail matching. Billionaire views with Melody. That's mm. a cute one. It's a catchy one. Uh, mathing with uh, wait, mating with male. Ah, uh, we don't want no mating. God, Lee, y'all nasty. <laughs> <laughs> love <me>. no mating. <laughs> Somebody said love and things of that nature. <laughs> <laughs> Look, things of that nature. That is so funny. <laughs> I love. Wait, who said that? Now nah, I can't get back to it. Queen's Court. Her name is Ayana. Ayana Jones. A okay, Ayana Jones. Miss Jones. Miss Jones said that. I love that Ayana Jones. I'm gonna put that in my stories. <laughs> I gotta see. Uh, 
love and things of that nature. That is it right there. Somebody said, let's do it again. Ooh, now that's kind of cute. Somebody. <laughs> Ooh, now, always the wife, never the bride. <laughs> it's the shade. It's the shade. It's the shade. <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is great. This is great. <laughs> oh, wait, that is so shady. Who is that? That's uh Shalika. It's Lika baby, but but I don't it's, it's Lika baby. Listen, Melody, you got to do this for Money Making Mail. You got to get this show name because that right there, <laughs> I would choose that <laughs> that one. And uh, what is it? Love and and that what it was something of that nature. Love and things of that nature, or something like that. Love and things of that nature. That and one, the, uh, and always the wife, never the bridesmaid. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> that is hilarious. Thank you, Lika, uh, baby. <laughs> Okay, hold on. I'm writing these down real quick. Love and things of that nature. <laughs> Love and things of that nature. Always the wife, never the bridesmaid. Okay, I got that one. Uh, let's see. All right. Let's see. Let's see if we got some more. Let's see if we got some more. Oh, uh, they. Yeah. I'm sure they are rolling in. These people are crazy. Oh, okay. <laughs> Dating with Miss Rogers. Oh, uh, how about me and Mrs. Ro me and Miss Rogers, like me and Mrs. Jones, me and Mrs. Rogers. Okay, okay, but she can't be Mrs. Rogers because they was actually cheating oh, on yeah. each other. <laughs> okay, they said uh, Mills match. Oh, uh, we already got a Queen's Court. Um, Baby, they see. sending me receipts from your live. <laughs> My phone is blowing up on Instagram. Period. Uh, let's Hold on see. one second. Hold on. Okay. Uh, in tune with Melody. The Melody of Love. Oh! Stop that. Right there. The Melody, the melody of Love. love. Oh! Not you know, y'all came nah. up with it. Go on and send it to them. You ain't got to send it to me, but you can send it to them. <laughs> oh, they're sending me screenshots. <laughs> That's all right. Send them. Send them. Send them. <laughs> okay, because I ain't gonna love all of them. First no of all, let me tell you something. The real melody eater, me melody eaters, the real melometers rock with me. They they are literally screenshotting your live and sending them to my inbox on Instagram. What's the point? Because they know me. I read some of the comments for um, what was it? Here for hot tea. I you was know. like, oh my god, why are they talking about me like this? <laughs> I was like, you know, people. I called you. I was like, I'm not doing this live. They misgendered me. Why would they misgender me? Why would they? Why would they say that? <laughs> you know, it's it's easy to say. It's easy to say. But then when you when you come back with a read though, but when you come back with a read though, you the bully. You the bully. Don't be no bully. Okay. Uh, I don't have nothing. To, I don't have nothing to say to these people, except for the ones that love me. <laughs> that's really what it's all about, though. Like it was wow. more love. It was more love than it was hate, which is a good thing. Yeah. Like, it, 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 and then too, I'm learning. The more that I get older, you learn to you gotta silence the noise, especially when you on a purpose, when you on a mission. Just, just let me know. ask you: Is here for hot tea on here? I see a comment right here from her. Hold on one second. I keep reaching for my mouth. Does she have a question for me? I love. First of all, her commentary is hilarious. She is, funny. and that lady, that lady, True Tea, between here for hot tea and True Tea. I am always, my stomach is hurting, getting ready for work in the morning, laughing at that girl, calling people concubines and things like that. And she, and this, and then today she was like, if any Christians on here, go ahead and leave my life right now. <laughs> she is funny, baby, but it was, it she was is hilarious, man. Like, I cannot. It was funny in that video when she said, and I know 
some of y'all, y'all say y'all don't rock with Chef Dada. I don't give. A yeah, fuck. she be roasting. She be roasting them. She keep they, she keep her foot on their neck. But I want to know if here for hot. I want to know if here for hot tea has any questions for me because I know that she is going to be talking about this live, and I just love her so much. And she did not have to post my picture of me on the couch with my tank top on on her thing. I did not like that one bit. I was going to put it on, on our picture, and I said, he probably ain't going to want me to put all that on there. He all laying to the side. I don't want that. Oh, my he God. She had me like, he all cocked okay, to the Okay, she sliders. had... Listen, Donna, she had me out there like I had an OnlyFans page. <laughs> <laughs> Here for hot tea, I'm going to your IG, and I'm going to cuss you out of your inbox. <laughs> 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 listen. Uh, I, listen, I'm getting Hold all on. this love from the Melameters right now on Instagram. They are DMing me, telling me how much they love me. I'm glad. I'm glad. That's what they Oh, uh, thank for. you here for hot tea. She's um, amazing. I love her. That's what this is for, honestly. Um, yeah. Just to be able to show and I'm so like glad. You haven't, you haven't talked about any of this stuff. And I know I'm just going to keep it a book. I know how some of it was weighing. <laughs> yeah, you know, but, I was, but it, me it, and you it, been going back and forth about this whole thing for a very long time. A very long, and I was time. like, no. Nah, but what? Mm -mm, what did I always no. say to you? What did I always say to you? Whenever you said, whenever I'm ready, for sure. Listen, because I don't got to sit up and hound nobody to talk to them. Listen, you come over here, you have a conversation with me, you have a conversation with me, and we good. You know what I'm saying? So, um, but no, yeah. I mean. The people love you. The people love you. Yeah, but with this recent, I know that we had spoke about this, but you didn't ask about it. But, you know, with this whole, um, I told you, with all this recent shenanigans going on, that, again, I don't have a knife in that fight. I'm going to keep my mouth closed because I know how I am. And I don't want her to. <laughs> That's why I ain't, that's why I ask because I know I know it I don't want to have to use my words because people will hear what I am want. here. People will hear what I am here to say, and you know the difference between the two. And it's a fine <laughs> difference. <laughs> So, teacher, uh, teacher, please stand down. <laughs> not teacher, stand down. <laughs> no, because you know I went to school to be a teacher. You know, Early, everybody, everybody's a teacher. <laughs> Thank you, Jay, uh, for the floor. I appreciate you so much. I knew this would be epic, Chef Dadan. You did a great. Uh, on this interview, I understand the professional part of things, Jay. Yeah, I'm here for that. Thank you for respecting that. And listen, respectfully, yeah. all of y'all content creators, I don't have no issue with nobody. Like, I, I just want y'all to do move with integrity. And if just reach out to me. Just reach out to me. Because I know how some of y'all are, you know. <clears throat> and it's okay. I know some of y'all don't like me, but you can still reach out to me respectfully. Okay. Um, so yeah, that's why I didn't ask that question. But shout out to Carson for being in the chat. Okay. Shout out to Carson for being you in know the what? Chat. I need to yeah, I like Carson. Um yeah. Yeah, we need to have a one-on-one -on -one too. Hey Carson. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I love you know what? Carson. I was although I was not I did melody for the T. Mm -hmm. Cause let's be clear. Melody is a working woman. She was in Atlanta working. I woke up early. I think that was on a Sunday. Mm -hmm. I woke up early, went to do her makeup at her hotel, and um, she went to Huntsville and did the tea. I think it was a Sunday. I don't know what day it was, but I know she... That... Um, Zimmerman dress was not cheap. The dress was perfect and it was not cheap. 
I'm here for it. I, you know, I'm here for so it. So if you all don't know Zimmerman, they don't go above a size four. So come on, Zimmerman. I don't know who, I don't know who has a bad body, but um, they don't go beyond a size four. <laughs> bad body, like girl, bad body. And Melanie was in a Zimmerman dress yeah. on the tea at that tea party. Just a couple weeks ago, that helper was swollen up. But anyway, um, I'm just Carson, saying, like you cannot say no one can say Melody has a bad body because Zimmerman does not go above a size four. But people wouldn't know that if they don't know designer. Okay. <laughs> uh, Carson says, "Hey, baby," and yes, we do. Yeah, I'm gonna. I don't follow her on Instagram, but I am gonna find Carson Blue on Instagram, and we're gonna have a kiki. <laughs> I love Carson. I do. I, I love think her and Carson, I love her husband. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I think Carson and I are gonna have a kiki. I'll yeah. see. I'll talk about it. You know, we'll see. Carson, follow me. My IG is J underscore. It's okay. What is it, James? It's okay. My mom's got it. You know, you don't got to say it. My mom's put the link in here. Okay, go ahead and follow me on Instagram, Carson. I'm gonna follow you back, and we'll talk. You know, <laughs> you know. <laughs> we can go to a real comedy show. It won't cost twenty seven dollars. Um, my treat, my treat, Carson. Don't cash at me. Do not cash out me $27. Carson, we're going to a real comedy show and it won't be $27. Yes, Jay is shady, y'all. Jay is shady. <laughs> And y'all see how he tried to throw them ball, boulder rocks of shade, Charlie did. Try to I'm just shade. saying, like, that is pub that's public knowledge. That's public knowledge. It was $27. Do not cash at me because the comedy show we go to would not be $27. <laughs> it would be in an arena, not an auditorium. An arena, not an auditorium. Two different A's, okay? You went at a comedy club. I don't know where it was, but it won't be $27. to still go to an auditorium, too. Okay, I can't chapter $27. That's what was said on the thing. <laughs> <laughs> Carson Blue, B-L-E-U, do not send me $27. <laughs> that would not put a dent in our, our experience. <laughs> Listen. <clears throat> Listen, friend. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know what? Dun Dun, this has been so much fun. It We've been on here two hours. <laughs> yeah. And this is a lot to digest. I know they're going to try to chop this up. Um, but I want to say, just to be clear, I'm just fun. I don't have any beef or any alts with anyone on this uh, platform on that platform, and um, I just want to keep making my money because Melody pays me a healthy penny to be her makeup artist. Melody pays me a really healthy penny, so I don't know what you other guys are getting paid, but Melody is my only client. I don't have to do anybody else's makeup. <laughs> I don't have to touch one person. No. That's so what Melody time. pays. I'm telling you what she pays me for the year is probably your salary that you go work eight hours a day, five days a week. So I don't, she's my only client. I don't have to hustle and bustle and run and do this person and that person. I'm not doing that. Melody is my only client. She's the only one. <laughs> yeah, she's she's like, <laughs> Listen. Okay. This was this was dope. This was dope. This was dope. Uh, one thing yeah. about me, I like having conversation. I don't really like yeah. to, to boggle it up as an interview. I like to have conversations. So we we had conversations and I'm here for it. 
Uh, I don't know if you're gonna do this again, but <laughs> no, <laughs> absolutely not. <laughs> nah, he's saying it now. He's saying I, it now. Absolutely not. He's saying it now. He's saying it now. But I, I'm, I'm a no. Call I, I'm a call him. I, no, don't call me. I'm gonna do that anyway. <laughs> well, you can call me, but not about this. I'm done. Like stick a fork in me. I'm going back into my little turtle shell. Where nobody knows who I am, and the only time y'all will see Jay is if Melody put me on that camera eating that roast, or eating her broccoli casserole, or chicken pot pie. Now I don't know about now. You know what? Melody had made some spaghetti one time. This is a funny story. She made spaghetti one time, and she was seasoning, and she had put. <laughs> oh God, Melody, don't kill me. I'm sorry. She took the salt and she was seasoning it with the salt. And I was at, at one time, all of us, it was like four of us in the kitchen while she was cooking, cooking, and she had the salt. And we all was like, damn. <laughs> it was so good. I was like, stop. Stop with that damn salt. <laughs> it was so I'm it was so funny fresh. because. <laughs> Four of us said, damn, at the same time, like, stop. Damn. But I will eat her casserole. I will. And she used those. What was it? It was a sausage. It started with a K, I think. Anyway, those sausages. <laughs> I'm bad with names. You are, and we figured that out. We we most definitely <laughs> figured that out. <laughs> Alanda, again, Alanda, I'm sorry. No shade. I was calling you Yolanda. It's been a while. And Ali, Ali, Ali it's Ali. I call her Ally, but Ali <laughs> will be on the lineup. Well, listen, <laughs> friend, thank you for this. This was, yeah. this was dope. This was dope. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you gave the people the key, and I'm quite sure they are going to key about it, okay? <laughs> As they should. Leave me alone. Stop misgendering me. I am a he, not a queen, not a she. Well, they Stop doing that. They, 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 listen, let me tell you That something. is so stupid. Stop doing that. Let I have a whole something. beard. They love, I'm, they love a to chest. do that. <laughs> I'm a man. Like, stop. Stop calling they me love. that. I, I, that's so stupid. They love it. They love it. They love it. Listen. Here again, for hot tea. You. Here for hot tea. Get your concubines before I start reading them on YouTube. Because <laughs> that's what they are. If they misgender me, they are a concubine. Ooh, concubine. Whatever that is. My, 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 my. Mm, mm, mm. And uh, I'm going to talk to Mel because she needs to do a money-making Mel. And she needs to have people come up with the name of her next show because she needs to have her own show. I agree. That would be really cute. I'll be here for yeah, anybody. Yeah, it would be cute. I'll be here for anybody who is doing like a, 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 you know, something like that. Just going out doing Yeah, like but she has to be, she has to be ready for the show. You know, you can't be dating and doing a show. That is true. That's true. That's true. But I think it'll be cute. Yeah. I heard for anybody moving on and just having a good time in life, like period. Everybody yeah, for it. sure. For sure. But that would be good if, you know, we don't get no interruptions. It's, it's like, if I can't have you, nobody can. <laughs> but she going to get the right one and they're going to be like, Get off my stoop. <laughs> I'm not about to do this. Get off my porch. Get the hell off my porch. Jay. No, you would not use. You can't use some kids. Get the hell off my porch. Get off my stoop. <laughs> Listen, I love it. Shout out to Mel because Mel did post this on her Instagram. Okay. I know. She posted it late. I'm going to cuss her out about that too. <laughs> she was yeah. napping though. She was taking a nap. 
She was, was taking a nap. She came in here. She said she had just woke up. So we got to give her a look. Yeah, up. she was taking a nap. I said, post it. I'm cussing her out. <laughs> yeah. I think, I think, I think. Jay, listen. Hey, but you. Chef Dundon, I want to say thank, thank you. you for having me. Absolutely. Thank you to all the um, people that came into the chat. If you have not already thumbs up this video, if you don't do it for Chef Dunn, because I know y'all don't like him, it's not about him, it's about me. <laughs> I know y'all don't like Chef Dunn, Dunn. That's cool with me. I don't like him either sometimes. Go ahead and hit that thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> If you don't like Chef Dun Dun and you're just here to watch the live, oh. like the video for me. Please like oh. it for me. Don't worry about his comments. I know that I read in the comments that he be cussing some of y'all out. I'm not going to cuss y'all out. Like the video. I'm going to work say, on him. They say something. Listen, let me just tell y'all something. You say something <laughs> to me sideways. You can't be mad when I say something back to you sideways. That's what these people don't understand. You can't call it bullying. After you've said something to me first, so no, Don Don, but you have a platform, and you sometimes and you got to know that. On, no, <laughs> on your platform, whether on your platform or off your platform, people are going to have opinion of it because now you're right. kind of a public figure. So everybody is not going to like you, and that's okay. Yeah, that, you, you just right. have to respond, and you don't have to respond to negative. And I want to give a shout out to Anthony Loft. Loft. Don't What's his name? Uh 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 uh. -uh. Anthony Loftly. Loft I don't fool with that man. Loft oh. Thank you though, but I don't fool with him. <laughs> you. You'd have to give him his props over there on his platform. <clears throat> you know, it, it, it's a, it's okay. You know, a lot of people can't take. A lot of people can't take. But no, don't do that. I feel it's... like you should have a conversation with that man. No, I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> I wish. I listen and, and listen. I wish him nothing but the best. Nothing but the best. Go down on his single right now, y'all. I'm going to send my child, going to send it to him, and I do not give a damn. <laughs> well, I'm sorry. Shout out to Anthony. I ain't got no problem with the boy. <laughs> Shout out Anthony. He like Melody. Go download his single. Support that man. I do. I knew you was getting ready to do it. I knew you was getting... <laughs> I like, like him. It. Okay. I'm glad you like him. Put that on your Insta story and tag him. I Hopefully will. He'll see Anthony it. Laughlin. Anthony Laughlin. He'll see it. He'll see it. Be nice. I think I really think you should have a conversation with him. Because it, it could be just a it could be a misunderstanding. It's not. The door is closed. Well, it was never really open, open, but you know, so I'm good. I'm good. But I mean, I, I feel like y'all are minorities in this YouTube game. So maybe it shouldn't be closed. Let me ask you something. When God say go, I'll I'll, I'll go. Well, let me ask you something. What happened? Why you? What's going on? Is that for a different live? <laughs> Jay said you was messing with me. I'm going to be messing with you. <laughs> <laughs> Jay said since, since you was messing with me, I'm going to be messing with you. I just don't. It's it's good. I just don't. I don't. I, I'm good with it. I'm good with it. Okay. Okay. When I have closed the door, all the bolts is locked. Everything. So, okay. Pray all right. It. Well, we'll let that go. Pray it it has been a very fun two hours and 15 minutes. <laughs> Thank you so much for um, inviting me on your platform. You're welcome. <laughs> And I will call you <laughs> when we end this live. 
<laughs> all right. <laughs> all right, you call me once you get all this situated. Okay. Listen, y'all in the chat, y'all can most definitely like who you want to like. I'm not telling anybody not to support people. Like, you like who you like. You support who you want to support. I wish him nothing but the best, but I'm good. That's it. Y'all need to have a conversation. Hey, put a put a heart in the chat. <laughs> what they say, put a heart in the comments if y'all want them to sit here and have a chat. Now, y'all think we got 1.3 followers on... Uh, 1.3 watchers on this live. I feel like if you and Anthony had a sit down on live to try to figure out what the, the root of y'all issues are, I think it'd be cool. I think everybody be willing to watch that because number one, I would probably need to be a moderator because I think y'all would be reading each other too much. But sometimes you have to get all that out before you get to the what is it? The <laughs> reconciliation. <laughs> Let's reconciliate in 2023. I'm going to do like you. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> and peace and blessings. You know. All right. All right. So how are we going to end this live? Y'all got to know gonna... about me. I'm sorry. But once once I've already went to that point, it's just, it's it's no coming back. That's just being realistic. I don't. What's your sign? Me. What's your sign? I'm a Capricorn. I'm a Capricorn. So we. Oh, no, nah, that door is not closed. You soft. <laughs> it, it is closed. Cause it, it take a lot. No, it's not. No, it's, it's not. Closed. I it's don't closed. know what Anthony's sign is, but he seemed kind of like. Anthony seems pretty like he seemed like a Taurus or like a Scorpio or something. He mean. Mm. <laughs> when he walked in Destiny House, I knew he was mean. <laughs> he drove from Tennessee to Alabama to go to that woman's house with clothes in it. I knew he was <laughs> he was he was hardcore. So I don't know. He might he might got you on this one, but no, my mom's a Capricorn. You don't got me. My mom's a, my mother is a Capricorn and she's my best friend. She's pretty soft. Well, I, I want to be clear. You don't got me. There's I no feel like we here. can do. I feel like we can do more together than apart. And I don't feel like the situation is deep enough for you to be like. <laughs> So you made me be messy. I made you be messy. I think we're even now. <laughs> you definitely made me be messy, but I, and I said to talk <laughs> down on what I said. I do. I said to talk down on it. That I just, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. Okay. And again, well, I was... Those of you that are saying in the comments that y'all like him, nobody's telling you you can't. I, that's one thing. I that like I him too. And you're my friend. I that's like him thing. too, and you're my friend. Well, bless him. One thing I have not done is if I don't agree with somebody, if I'm into it, I don't, I, listen, if you support them, you support them. It's not my job to tell you who to support. So y'all can still support him. Hopefully you will still support me. We just don't see eye to eye and I think we're good with it. All right. But I appreciate so you how being you messy. Want... You say what? I appreciate you for being messy. Oh, thank you, friend. So listen, how do you want to end this live? <laughs> bye. <laughs> hey, bye. And thank you, you for everyone for watching. To the end, you had to get messy, messy. But no, bye, friend. I appreciate you again. <laughs> Happy Friday. Thank you. And I want to say again, thank you for everyone for watching. Thank you so much. Yes, because you got my numbers up there. More than I have ever seen in my chat before. So thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> All right. <laughs> bye. Bye. <laughs> Oh, listen, y'all, thank y'all for for definitely tuning in because <laughs> I knew it was going to get messy. I knew it was going to get messy. The door is closed. Okay, the door is closed. Did y'all hear me? The door is closed. Y'all can wish the best. It's just the door is closed. Okay. Um, But this was dope. This was dope. I really enjoyed this. Y'all got to hear from Jay for the first time. This is the first time that he's ever spoken out. I appreciate y'all for being here. Whether you do like me, you don't like me, this 
being able to hear the conversation and hear Jay's side of everything that we've been having questions about. We've been having questions about what happened at the reunion. We've been having all of these questions. So this was a perfect time to make sure that those questions were answered. Yeah, Jay is, Jay is, 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 <laughs> yeah, Jay is a mess. I like you too, Carson. You already know what's up. You already know what's up. Okay, so from what I understand, there is going to be an after party, okay, over on my sis channel, Prosperity. Thick girl, 42, you guys go over and enjoy that. Carson, I believe, will be over there. And I believe I thought I saw Carson say she's also going to go live tonight. Did I see that? Uh, I think I saw that. So, you know, we're going to keep this thing rolling. It's Friday night. You know what I'm saying? Um, I don't know what y'all got planned, but we're going to have a good time. Thank y'all so much for the love. Um, just because this is just who I am. I didn't uh, physically ask for any cash apps or anything. So what I want to do is thank those who have sent some while we've been on the uh, interview. Okay. Uh, let's talk life. Thank you so much for the cash app. Um, Veronica, thank you so much for the cash app. Um, and y'all, I really don't be trying to say y'all y'all government name, so I'm gonna just say Miss Kim. Thank you for the cash app. Um, Miss Vernica, thank you for the cash app. I really appreciate it. Um, Miss Octavia, thank you for the cash app. I appreciate it. Uh, Shalika, shout out to you for the cash app. I appreciate it. Uh, let's see who else in here. Veronica, thank you. Another Veronica, thank you for the cash app. Y'all was showing out, and I appreciate it because I didn't ask. I wasn't asking. Um, but I appreciate y'all for showing love on the channel. It means a lot. Y'all make sure if you're not subscribed that you go ahead and get subscribed because Jay ain't lie. Uh, with a little shade, he didn't lie. I mean, this is the first time I had that many people in my chat. <laughs> But anyway, y'all are not going to hold y'all long. Y'all go and enjoy your evening, head to the after party or whatever you choose to do this evening. Just be safe. Have a good time. And you know what I'm saying? Let that be the... <laughs> y'all funny in these comments, though. Y'all really are funny. So thank you again. If I didn't get a chance to speak to you, um, if you are a content creator, I, again, want to shout out Prosperity, Thick Girl 40. I want to shout out what's happening. I want to shout out, uh, Lord, help me, help me. Carson, Carson, the content creator, honey, too, because she on the YouTube, too. <laughs> um, I'm missing some people. Oh, I, I, y'all know I got to get my thank yous out of the way because regardless of how I feel, I got to thank my people. Uh, Hold on. Hold up, hold up. Um, where is it? Uh, here for hot tea. Shout out to you as well. There were a couple of people solo wise that, that shared this on their platform. And again, I just asked you that you guys really, please, please, please make sure that if you use the snippet, just, just please give me my credit. That's just that. Cause that's just how we want to operate. Okay. Uh, did you say you was going live, Carson, or am I tripping before you leave? Did you say you was going live? I just want to make sure. Thank you, uh, Audrey. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I love you all back. I really do. I appreciate it. Thank you for those who really support and ride for your boy. Uh, I appreciate it. My God, today. Um... I appreciate it. It was dope. 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 All right. Um, everybody can go. That's how. That's right. You know what, Tai? Shout out to the t official Tai report. Chef, did you get my Venmo? Let me look. Let me look. Let me look. I didn't see it until now, but shout out to Demi Bell. Thank you so much for the Venmo. Thank you so 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 very much i really appreciate it listen i do some over here still 800 of you in the room I, I do something over here when somebody donate to the channel we got a bop that we play over here it's a 10 second bop but i'm gonna play it for 20 seconds because we are just grateful for everybody giving on the channel let's go
that thing make you want to say what side they you know anyway <laughs> i appreciate y'all again i put the go i put the go oh the real estate insider was in here y'all i no shade no shade to any kind scotty was in here i saw jeremy in here i saw several people in here y'all no shade i i promise the comments was going so fast uh but shout out to y'all thank you so much for being in here and thank y'all for supporting me i really appreciate it i i had to say thank you to scotty and jeremy i did see them in here as well um the real estate insider was in here here for hot tea carson uh what's happening um i think that's all i saw as far as content creators but again i'm not it's no shade i'm not skipping anybody uh but y'all already know y'all be having a lot of people in y'all chats too and it be moving fast so y'all already know what what it is what it is what it is what it is but again thank y'all so much if you're not subscribed subscribe to the channel and y'all i will see y'all in the next video Y'all already know we probably going to recap this whole thing tomorrow, all right? So y'all make sure y'all stay tuned, all right? With that being said, much love to you all. Y'all have a great night. Peace.